Good morning, everyone. Today, uh, one of the exciting things that I'll talk about is that about our Microsoft Award, how this award is going to create a lot of opportunities for Netcom Learning, for our sales team, for our marketing team. And throughout the process, I also want to find out why we won this award. And we want to make the connections back uh, that we could have never won that award without the support of the entire team uh, that we have within this organization. Uh, I think two days ago, Yang asked me uh, to give a presentation about this award, and I felt like uh, I wasn't the right person to give this presentation because I haven't done much to win this award. I believe it's the whole organization work together to win this award, and marketing played an important role, especially Ankuna um, Gorov, they played a very important role with the submission process, and I want to make sure all those credits goes to the uh, entire organization. Before I go to the presentation, I know that it's not tied to this. I want to share a uh, couple of the books I have read over the last uh, two months period. And um, some of you are new to the organization. You probably know one of my hobby and one of my passion uh, is, to, is to read books. I love reading books. And especially I love reading business books. And now I also like to read books about what's the trend that's happening in the marketplace and especially with the industry that we are in. Uh, other reason I read book is because it makes me happy. Uh, it, it makes me really happy. Uh, and most importantly, that it gives you the ability to have the other thought leaders and, and, and the industry expert to shape your thoughts. Because you can't really become an expert and understand what's happening there unless you read uh, from the other experts uh, out there. Uh, so there's three books uh, that I recently read, and I share some of these with our a leadership team, and I will recommend our entire uh, staff, if you have time, if you can read it. One of the book called The Digital Revelation, and the person who wrote the book is Inder Sindhu. Inder is in the information technology industry for over 20 years. He's one of the senior person in uh, Cisco, Cisco product manager. He's managing, I believe, one to two billion dollar business segment for them. And in the past, he also wrote a best-selling book. But uh, the central concept of this uh, book is that how digital innovations are transforming different industries and how it's going to disrupt those industries and how it will create opportunities for some of the companies and it's also going to create major problems for uh, other companies and how it's going to create problems for employees within different organizations, how they might lose their job and how it's going to create opportunity for employees to move up within the organization who develop the skills needed to compete in the uh, 21st century. So I want all of you to read this book if you have time. It is going to have a significant impact on your personal life and business life. And you'll be able to connect the dot back to what we're presenting uh, today. Uh, and we're going to present throughout the uh, year. Uh, second book. Uh, this is a book I read over this weekend. I haven't finished it. Two thirds I finished. It's written by Professor. Thomas Davenport. I don't know if any of you heard of Professor Thomas Davenport. He's an expert into big data analytics. He's an MIT professor, Harvard professor. He teaches also uh, in Babson. And uh, he wrote books uh, in the past about analytics, big data, a lot of other books. But here's the title of the book. Only humans need to apply the winners and losers in the age of smart machines. So he's talking about uh, that which technologies are high in demand and how smart machines are going to change the way we operate the business, how it must machine is to change the way the different types of jobs are created within the organization. And third book that, uh, that I'll probably talk more about this book uh, is written by Steve Case. Steve uh, was the founder of AOL. And he talks about what is the new trend that's going to happen over the next 10 to 15 years, and what type of companies uh, investors should invest in and how companies, big organizations, need to be prepared for those changes. But did you realize that all three books sound exactly the same? It's written by the thought leaders, written by the, one of the billionaires, written by a professor who is sitting on the board of the five to six Fortune 500 companies. Here's the conclusion I have drawn from all these three books. There's five key conclusions I have drawn. One conclusion, technology is changing and is forcing the companies to change their business model. Therefore, its world is also changing and creating a major skill gap problem.
That's one of the key lessons. Skill gap problem is going to be created. Second key lessons I got from all three books, and when you read it, they, uh, they all published almost exactly on the same time. They, they did not copy from each other. But what they're saying is there is going to be a list of winners within the Fortune 500 company, and there is going to be a list of losers within the Fortune 500 company. There's going to be a list of winners in the education sector. There's going to be a list of the losers in the uh, education sector. Third point I took out from these three books, exactly the same point, is every business is a technology business. Every company is a technology company. These books are now sitting on the business section, not on a IT section. As a matter of fact, the Microsoft CEO, uh, Satya, I, I hope I'm pronouncing his uh, name right, the way he defines IT, information technology, he defines it as innovation and transformation. IT is changing. So these books are saying is that every business is a technology business. Fourth lesson is creating a major opportunity for us. We teach technology, we teach business. We are providing solution to companies to build a smarter workforce, adopt to change, and drive growth. Change is happening. We have the company to provide those, uh, those solutions. And fifth lesson, those big trends we talked about, social, mo mobile, big data, cloud, internet of things, these are continuously going to be big trend for over the next five to 10 years, especially uh, internet of the things, which you'll be able to connect back with the social, mobile, big, uh, big data, and others. Sorry, I know this wasn't part of the topics, but I thought that I got an opportunity to speak, so why not talk about this? Because it's going to help you to shape your thoughts, and you'll be able to connect back with Netcom that we are sitting on a gold mine. We are so proud that we teach technology and business. We see that how industry is changing, world is changing, business model is changing, and how we could help those organizations to provide the right solution to them.